It's Sunday the 22nd of January and we are on the Australian dollar, US dollar. So let's have a look at this market for the trading week ahead. Okay, so we have now broken above the previous swing high, which is what we were looking for last week. Now that the market has broken above the previous swing high, we have to consider the strong downward move over. What does it mean? Uh, it does not necessarily mean we are now into a very, very strong uptrend. It just means that we have to wait and look for more evidence as to what the market wants to do. Now, um, we're currently sitting around about 7560. These levels up here are all going to um, offer good resistance. What does that mean? Well, it means if the market is coming up into these levels, I'm more than happy to look for sell positions up here as well as um, buy positions. We'll very, very likely see the market chopping around on its way up through these levels. So coming into next week, what are we looking for? Okay, so we've broken above the previous swing high now. Um, these levels down here can now be watched as potential support. Let me just mark some of these in. We've got all these pins down here, you can see. Whereas the market has came down previously, it has been bought up. Now, if we see the market falling into these levels, we can look for that bullish price action. Up above, we have good resistance. First of all, this area here, which we've gone over a number of times, and the highs up here, they remain good resistance until we see this market breaking through them convincingly. Um, currently, we're just testing. We've tested, we sold off, we came back up, tested once again, we sold off, and we have closed back up at the 7560 levels. This remains good resistance. It is a strong resistance level um, and can continue to be watched going into next week, as can if the market breaks through. We can look at it for potential support if we see a return for those buy positions. Key levels up above. Well, we have lots and lots of um, key levels up here, as I've mentioned. So we'll just look at a couple of them. We're basically, what are we looking at? We're looking at the areas where we've seen those strong reactions from the market. We've had one here. We had another one here, and we can see as the market comes back up again, we're testing before we're breaking through. We're coming down, we're testing. As we come back down, the market is chopping at these levels. Along here, we're doing the exact same thing again. What is it telling us? It's just giving us a little clue that these areas are where buyers and sellers have been battling it out. So that means as the market comes back up once again, into these levels that are considered important in the Australian dollar, US dollar, we can look for those sell positions. Once we start getting above those levels, we're really back into um, the previous highs from this whole section of price action back here, where the market failed multiple times, once, twice, three times, four times before we've seen the very, very strong downward move. These levels will once again be good resistance areas where we can watch for reactions and those sell positions. Those really are the key levels moving forward now, guys. Um, going into next week, the pullbacks into these levels down here. For potential buy positions, you can actually see we've already came down on the 18th and we reacted on the 19th. Up above, we are looking at this area of resistance still until the market can, can convincingly break through. If we do break through, as mentioned, the pullbacks 
for potential support. Those are really the main areas I'll be watching at the start of next week. And then after that, it's really coming into the 7.630 levels to the 7.650 levels. That's the next area of resistance I really want to be watching. Okay, guys, so as always, I hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a great trading week next week. I'm James Orr, and thank you.